Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to configure Kubernetes ingress controller running NGINX. So in the previous video, we exposed the website, rating website and RESTful API in two different ways for allowing access to each instance. The API is exposed via a ratings API service using a cluster IP that would create an internal IP address for use within the cluster. And the website, uh, the front end is exposed via ratings web service using a load balancer that creates a public IP address in Azure and assign it to the Azure load balancer. Even though the load balancer exposes the ratings website via publicly accessible IP, there are limitations that we have to consider. Let's assume that the development team decides to extend the project by adding a video upload website. The fans of the smoothies can submit videos of how they are enjoying their smoothies at home. The current rating website responds at, uh, let's say the URL is fruitsmoothies.com. When we deploy the new video site, we want the new site to respond at fruitsmoothies.com slash videos. And the rating site would be fruitsmoothies.com slash ratings. So if we, if we continue to use the load balancer solution, we'll need to deploy a separate load balancer on the cluster and map its IP address to a new fully qualified domain name. So that would be videos.fruitsmoothies.com. To implement the required URL based routing configuration, we'll need to install additional software outside of the cluster. The extra effort is that a Kubernetes load balancer service is a layer four load balancer. Layer four load balancers only deal with routing direct decisions between IPs addresses or the TCP or the UDP ports. Now Kubernetes provides us with an option to simplify the above configuration by using an ingress controller. So in this video, we will deploy a Kubernetes ingress controller. We'll reconfigure the ratings web service to use cluster IP. We'll create an ingress resource for the ratings web service. We'll test the application. So let me show you the architecture now. Here you have it. So we are deploying the host front end to route the HTTP traffic from internet via the public IP, then we would have ingress controller, which would route the traffic to the ratings web, the front end that, so we are deploying. So in the previous video, it was uh, uh, between this front end and the load balancer. Now we are deploying ingress controller to accept the connection. So I'll tell you the details while we are doing it. So let me just log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal as usual. I'm gonna open up the cloud shell and let me open up a separate duplicate tab as well to get the acr and the aks information let it come up let me go to my default directory this is my acr okay great so all set to so will deploy a Kubernetes ingress controller. A Kubernetes ingress controller is a software that provides layer seven load balancer features. These features include reverse proxy, configurable traffic routing, and TLS termination for Kubernetes services. We install the ingress controller and configure it to replace the load balancer. With the ingress controller, we can now do all load balancing, authentication, TLS, and URL based routing configuration without the need for extra software outside of the cluster. There are several other uh, options for running Kubernetes ingress on AKS, such as Azure Application Gateway, Ambassador, HA Proxy, Kong, Nginx, and uh, Traffic. The ingress controllers are exposed to the internet by using a Kubernetes service type of load balancer. The ingress controller watches and implements Kubernetes ingress resources, which create routes to application endpoints. Here we will deploy a basic Kubernetes ingress controller by using Nginx. Then we'll configure the ratings front end service to use that ingress for traffic. Nginx ingress controller is deployed as any other deployment in Kubernetes. We can either use a deployment manifest file and specify the Nginx ingress controller image, or we can use an Nginx helm chart. The Nginx helm chart simplifies the deployment configuration required for the ingress controller. For example, we don't need to define a configuration mapping or configure a service account for the Nginx deployment. So we'll start by creating a namespace for the ingress. 
so I'll do cube CTL create namespace ingress it will create a namespace with the name of ingress okay so if I'll do this then I have a ingress namespace as well right so earlier I was I created ratings app now I'll configure the helm client to use the stable repository by running the helm repo at command this is it I'll hit enter it will add the repo okay stable has been added so repo name stable has been added so next we'll install the nginx ingress controller nginx ingress is a part of stable helm repository we configured earlier when we installed mongodb we'll install two replicas of the nginx ingress controller uh, with the set controller dot replica count parameter for added we'll make sure to schedule the controller only on linux nodes as a windows server node should not run the ingress controller we'll specify a node selector by using the set node selector parameter okay it did that after the installation is finished we'll see an output like we have here now let's check the public IP of the ingress service. It might take few minutes for the service to acquire the public IP. Let me just run the command and check. Here it is. This is my external IP. Let me just copy it. And right I'm gonna save it all right it's going good I'm I've made a note of the external IP now we'll reconfigure the ratings web service to use the cluster IP so I'm gonna edit one file here okay going good I'm gonna do code and bring up one file here I am sorry I do it this one so this is the file that we created earlier so if you would see the type is load balancer and I'm gonna replace the type to cluster IP so I'll do this C capital then I will write cluster and then I will write cluster IP I'm going to save this configuration. I'm going to close the editor and I'm going to use cube ctl apply command to apply my configuration. And before that, I'm going to delete the service. So there is a point here that we can't update the point value of type on a deployed service. We have to delete the service and recreate it okay let me do that i'm gonna do this to delete it and then i'm gonna do the kubectl apply command i'll do this and this Okay, this, it was still under process. Okay, I have to run that command again. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not found. Then I'll do this. And now it is 
created. So it took few seconds for the changes to take effect. Now I'm going to create an ingress resource for my ratings web service. And in order for my Kubernetes ingress controller to route a request to the ratings web service, I will have to need an ingress. I will have to have an ingress resource. The ingress resource is where we specify the configuration. So each ingress resource will contain one or more ingress rules, which specify an optional host, a list of paths to evaluate in the request and a backend to route the request to. So I'm going to edit the file that I did created earlier. So I'm going to do code ratings dash web dash ingress dot yaml. And I'm going to paste the content here. Here it is. And now in this file, uh, I, have, I need to update the ingress IP value in the host key with the, the public IP of the ingress that we retrieved earlier. So here it is my public IP. Ingress IP. like this save it i o oh, this value would allow you to access the ingress via host name instead of an ip address and in the next video we will configure the ssl and tls on this host name to have the secure connection so let me save this let me close this and I'm going to use kubectl apply command and I'm going to apply the configuration create it successfully and now I have this um, ingress.networking created successfully I'm going to make a note of it in my notes I'm going to save this and if you would test the application and we see if that application is available on the ingress controller that I configured. Let me pause. Let me uh, wait. Okay, now it is available. So that is how you do it right now. It's available on here. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.